So this one scenario, which we wanted the price of Bitcoin to avoid at any cost, has now finally happened. So what does this mean for Bitcoin? And also what kind of scenario to expect next in a immediate short term and in a upcoming days? All these scenarios will be talked into this video. So please watch it till the end. And also before diving into the content, guys, please let's try to reach 2000 like in today's video. So starting this year in a weekly time frame, we have talked about this scenario plenty of time in my videos because we were well, well aware the price of Bitcoin was not allowed to close this weekly below the 23.61 Fibonacci level because in the past Bitcoin price action, we found out that whenever the price of Bitcoin in a downtrend found support at this blue line, 14.59 Fibonacci level, we saw really rally and this really rally got rejection from this orange line, the 23.61 Fibonacci level, we got gravitated towards the bottom of the channel before starting this new impulsive price movement. Here, if you look at this from 2019, similar scenario unfolded where the price in the downtrend got support at this 14.59 Fibonacci level, saw a relief rally which brought the price around the 23.61 Fibonacci level, failed to find a proper support above it. After that, you can see we got gravitated towards the bottom of the channel and now a very very similar price structure is also unfolding which is indicating price of bitcoin has closed below this 23.61 fibonacci level now if bitcoin is going to do exactly what it did in the past bitcoin price action after failing to find support at this 23.61 fibonacci level then this is a sign of danger because in that case right in that case we could be getting gravitated towards the bottom of this bitcoin logarithmic growth curve before we start any sort of a impulsive movement here in this manner so that's why we have to monitor this price movement very very closely even though we were aware in a smaller time frame and also in a daily time frame we were actually expecting this retracement to happen because we talked about this inverse head and shoulder a retest around this 41 42 thousand before price shows any sort of impulsive movement because we knew this inverse head and shoulder the right shoulder was being formed and exactly around that range we also knew this falling trend line from this bump and run reversal bottom could be a retest because you can see for an actual movement here right the price came to retest this falling trend line only after that started this uphill run that's why we were also actually expecting the price of bitcoin to see this retest around this 41 42 thousand before choosing a trend duration beside this one here beside this so one before switching to other chart i want to give you a quick update that we not just only have a crypto on english channel we also have our crypto on german channel so for all german speaker go follow me there and not just only that we also have our own telegram channel so if you want to communicate with each other if you want to be part of crypto on a family then the link will be provided in the description down below and beside that to all the traders watching this video right now i have a giveaway around ten thousand dollar at the end of the month to anyone who sign up using my ref link here either it's a bybit or femex and deposit at least $300 worth of crypto doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin Ethereum or USDT if we do that then at the end of the month I am going to choose maybe five random winner and provide them with two thousand dollar each or a two random winner one from Femex one from Bybit right and provide them five thousand dollar each so if you want to take advantage of this opportunity the link is provided in the description down below so now let's switch the chart also, the non-swing failure bottom was indicating the price could see a retracement around this 41, 42, find support before starting this new impulsive price movement. But now, after finding out that the weekly has closed below this 23.61 Fibonacci level, if we are going to see a movement here, I strongly believe that this could be more of a bull trap. So we have to be very, very careful from here on. But in a smaller time frame, right, in a smaller time frame, we could still expect some sort of a move in here to the upside. Why? Because this falling wedge that we talked on yesterday's video, even though the price of Bitcoin was not able to break out of this 43,000 resistance line, because I made it very, very clear only if the price of Bitcoin is going to close out of this resistance line, right? This very, very important resistance line around this 43,000, only then we are going to be actually bullish. So you can see yesterday when the price of Bitcoin approached around this 43,000, 
we got some sort of a rejection even a price replacement but now what we are seeing is more of a range bound type of scenario in a smaller time frame you can see here right so this is showing us if the price of bitcoin want to show any sort of a movement since we are trapped inside this parallel channel where the upper line is acting as a resistance right and lower line could be acting as a support so now if this is going to be more of a breakout here to the upside in a smaller time frame the price must must break out of this 43,000 range and flip it into support because if we do that then i'm still expecting here in a media short term 43,000, sorry the 44,000 range and also 45,000 range as our potential upward price target even though we are aware that you know weekly the price of bitcoin has closed below this 23.61 fibonacci level and that in the past bitcoin price action has led to some bigger price retracement so guys these are some of the interesting scenario that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work then please hit the like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anub bye bye guys